often focus on our history, on the background, where we came from, who were our parents and our grandparents. But how often do we focus on the future, our future aspirations, our goals, what we want to achieve and accomplish further on in life? Well, first days of Pesach, we focused on the historical context, the exodus out of Egypt. The last days of Pesach, we turn our attention now to the future, to the final redemption, to the time that the Jewish people will gather in to the promised land and there'll be peace and tranquility world over. But why is that so important? Why is it that on Pesach we have to end with focus on the final redemption? The answer is because what gives history its context, its validity, its eternity is the future. When we know where we're headed, when we know where we're going, suddenly all of the past now makes sense. All the past is worth it. And so the prayer of the Jewish people as we go into the last days of Pesach is that we should experience that final redemption, the arrival to Israel of all the Jewish nation. And that will give such context to the exodus out of Egypt. That will give context to the 2000 years that we've been in exile. Because now we understand why we had to go through this, what we're aspiring to accomplish, what our goal and destination is going to be. So let's embrace the journey of the last days of Pesach. Let's pray, let's daven, let's sing that God should bring about that final redemption and bring the Jewish nation to their destination. The entire Am Yisrael in the promised land of Israel with peace and tranquility world over. Please God. Amen. Wishing you Chag Sameach and Shabbat Shalom.